Hello everyone, welcome to Pabli. In this video, we are going to look at upsell, downsell and funnel feature of Pabli subscription billing. So first, we will log into our account and then we will navigate to product section. So let's start with creating upsell and downsell in Pabli subscription billing. Upsells are nothing but plans that you create under your product, but later configure them as upsell and downsell in the sales funnel of the base plan. So for example, if I wish to create one upsell and one downsell for my base product, I will create three plans, one being my base plan and the other two will be configured as upsell or downsell in the sales funnel of the base plan. To start creating a funnel in your base plan, click edit, scroll down to find the option to add funnel. Here you can see, you can define number of upsells and downsells that you wish to have for your base product. For now, I am putting the number as one since I just want to have one upsell and one downsell. It is worth noting that Pabli currently allows you to have six upsells and downsells in your sales funnel. So now I will just configure the upsell and downsell plans that I have created and I will click save. You can also note that the downsell plans are not mandatory. If you wish, you can just skip the downsell plans and just have the upsells in your sales funnel. So that's all. This is how you configure the sales funnel in Pabli subscription billing. Now let's see how the sales funnel will work with Pabli subscription billing. So we will start with Pabli's checkout page of the base plan. So this is the checkout page of the base plan. The customer will fill in all his details and payment information. Now, after clicking on the complete order, he will be taken to the first upsell in the funnel. So this is how the first upsell page looks like. I have customized the checkout page and you can also customize your checkout pages and upsell pages from checkout customizer. Now, the customer has two options. Either he can upgrade the order by clicking yes or he can decline the offer. If the customer agrees to buy the upsell, he will be taken to the next step in the funnel. The next step can be an upsell or the thank you page. Since I have just configured one upsell and downsell, the next step will be a thank you page. Or if my customer declines to buy the upsell, that is by clicking on no, he will be redirected to either the downsell in the funnel or the success page. So for now, I will be clicking no. So my customer has been redirected to the downsell plan. Now, regardless of his choice, that is if he agrees to buy the downsell or if he, if he declines the downsell, he will be taken to the thank you page. So if I click yes, that means I have accepted the downsell plan. Now I have redirected to the thank you page. On thank you page, the customer will be able to see all the plans that he has purchased. To understand the flow of the sales funnel, Kindly refer to the flow diagram shown on the screen. Thank you for watching. In case of any further queries, do write to us at admin at the rate